What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Up the Humbugs and in today's episode it's a very special one we have completed our well almost completed our first season with Halstead Town we've actually completed the league season and you've guessed it we've made the playoffs and um I mean wait until I show you what's going on it, this is crazy right then this is how the league table looks um after 38 games course Romford crown champions they finished 10 points clear of us in the end 86 points we finish in second place on 76 points but it turns out it doesn't really matter um and this is why here's me naively thinking oh we finished second we're probably gonna play against Tilbury oh no 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 look what we are doing this is called the county league's quarter final and these are the playoffs we're going to be playing in these and we have been drawn against Portland United uh, I think is it just one leg or two legs it's one leg so we play against Portland United hopefully attempting to win a spot in the uh, in the semi-final as you can see I, I, I just I don't know I don't know how this works I'm looking at it and I'm not too sure it's kind of like the hunger games of lower league football in England I'm, I'm guessing we could play against anyone when it comes to the final and I'm assuming what how many teams get promoted one two three four I don't know I don't know if it's split, in, split into north and south what I do know is we've got to play this game and, uh, and and try and win basically which I think we can do now I must stress that we finished the season or at least the league in very fine form a 5-2 win against Coggleshall in the league followed by a 4-1 away win against Barking and then a 3-2 win against Clacton we rounded off in some style the only concern I have is that we are conceding goals left right and centre but as long as we keep outscoring our opponents does it really matter at this stage? no this is how we're going to line up today against Portland United um, uh, maybe a couple of changes since you last saw the team. We've got Williams up top. He retains his place with Adelani still not fully uh, fit from injury. And we've got a new player sitting in that number 10 role. Godwin. He's one of our youngsters who's come through the youth intake. Joseph Godwin. And, I mean, God is just about right. He looks fantastic. And he's off to a great start. I played him in two league games. And so far, he scored twice. Got one assist. And one player of the match in uh, in one of those games. So... He looks like a very promising young player. Other than that, it's the usual suspects. Jack Cherry in goal. Kokolakis, right back. Preston Duncan, our centre-back pairings. Busby on the left. Looking a little bit tired, but I'm going to start him. Dutton and Knott in midfield. Gilbert on the right. Joseph on the left. Godwin through the middle. And Williams up top. And making up the bench, we've got Knowles, Dan P, Simon Parson, Melligan and Pavitt. I could potentially have Adelani on. Uh, who can play 45 minutes. I kind of want to bring Owen Fisher on, who's unhappy because he's not playing too much. Um, but I, I can't go into this without Melligan. I, I think it'd just be wrong. And Pavit and Simon Parson. We cannot exclude them. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get into this game. I want to know, no cheating, by the way, what are your predictions for this game? Drop them in the comments, and let's see if you're right. The two teams step out onto the pitch at Rosemary Lane. The floodlights are beaming and we come into this fixture in very good form. Portland United have not won a game in their last four games. That fills us with confidence, but it's just what happens on the day. Form can mean very little, especially when it comes to these cup games. Uh, we've got double match stats, which is not helpful. Should we put latest scores on? I, I guess so. I'm not really sure what we want. Um, there's so many to deal with. Like I said, this is literally like the Hunger Games of the football leagues i don't know who's gonna make it through and who's gonna be uh eliminated first highlight of the game and it's a goal kick to portland and it's found its way all the way through fortunately duncan's there to pick it up and he plays it to kokolakis who brings it forwards gilbert now back to preston preston lovely forward pass for not who goes back to duncan keeping the ball well not afraid to pick up the ball with a man on their backs as busby comes forwards Plays a little one to Joseph. And he is then, well, I was going to say forced back, but he finds Dutton, who finds not, And we found a way through. Busby. <sighs> They're defending well, Portland United. We're struggling to find a way through here. Going to take one key pass. Will it come from not? 
There's Joseph. Preston. Godwin. Godwin goes wide for Kokolakis. Kokolakis into the box. Oh, he's fouled. He's on the yellow card as well. It's definitely a penalty. How is that not a second yellow? That is very cynical. Anyway, up steps Gilbert. He's scored every penalty this season. And he misses this one. No way. No way. Let's encourage him. Oh. Right. Corner. Gilbert. In it goes. Cleared away by Callow. Gilbert picks it up again. He finds Duncan on the edge of the box. Giannis Kokolakis. Into the box. He goes. Has a shot. Oh, it's off the crossbar. Oh, it is. Back in. Oh, my God. And it's gone. Oh, it's been saved by the keeper. This keeper is insane. Another corner. Gilbert's take. Whips it in towards Duncan. It's cleared away, though. And that's the end of the highlight. A really strong start from us. We should be 1-0 up. Hopefully, Gilbert doesn't take that penalty miss to heart. And he can get back into this for us. As he picks up the ball here. Heads towards the byline. Gets one to the back post. Joseph there. Joseph headers it. And it's against the post. Oh, my God. Boys, put it in. Ball back in. Williams. And it's cleared away. How are we not leading this game after 20 minutes? A 2.1 XG. Here we go again. We actually have another highlight. Kokolakis to Godwin. Godwin in towards Joseph. Joseph headers it. Oh, it's against the crossbar again. How many times? Dutton. Joseph. Williams. No. Oh, Joseph. We've won the ball back. Gilbert won the ball back there. It's a great tackle. Not Dutton. Godwin. Oh, oh, he's hit the crossbar as well. This is unreal. What is this? This is like a side main crossbar challenge. Well, just like that, it's half time. And uh, Portland United yet to have a shot. That is uh, how dominant we've been. <sighs> I'm going to say, don't lose faith. We've cre created as many chances as we need to be ahead. So keep going and the scoreboard will eventually reflect it. Um... You weren't that bad, but I believe you can still improve. Williams, we need you to find the back of the net. <sighs> if this goes to penalties, I, we we can't do the Vars again. Not, not like that. It's worth mentioning that we've got 273 people in attendance for this game. I'm willing to bet that's probably one of our highest attendances this season, if not the highest attendance at Rosemary Lane. 65 minutes played and Chevy takes a goal kick looking for Duncan it's not the best kick uh, but we do win the ball back Duncan Dutton Dutton switches it to Gilbert good touch Kokolakis back to Dutton Dutton finds Not. Not lovely through ball to Joseph Joseph into the box can he square it he does a back post Gilbert come on Kane Gilbert comes back from the penalty miss in the first half to score at the back post and we finally make a chance count what a pass that is from not lovely run from joseph he's the one that squares it it just evades williams and his defender and gilbert's there at the back post to just tap it in one nil another highlight as busby is looking tired we're gonna have to think about bringing him off soon and they throw it straight to gilbert who finds joseph joseph shifts it onto his left foot finds williams who does go around his Man, oh, he's tucked it away into the far corner and it's 2-0. Sal Williams. What a man. Right, let's go ahead and get Busby off. I'm going to put... Um, oof. I'm going to put Duncan out on the left-hand side and bring Dan P on. As a central defender, I think that's all we want. Uh, I'm going to say I want a good performance from you tonight and he is uninterested. Yeah. Me and Dan are not on good terms. Not at all. Another highlight. Duncan. Crosses the ball towards the back post. Gilbert's there. He's up. Joseph wins the header. Oh, and it's just dribbled past the uh, the post. I thought he might have been able to sneak that one in. 15 minutes left to play. And again, our players are looking quite tired. I might bring off Godwin. I'm going to bring off Godwin and bring on Pavet in a supporting role. And I'm also going to bring on... Mm, no, no one else at the moment. Come on, Jordan Pavic. Come on. 
El Capitano. Oh no, Williams is injured. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, have it up top. And we bring Simon Parson on. Not can play in that number 10 role. And Simon Parson will play a little bit further back. Dutton's going to go on to defend. Ah, oh, dear. I really hope Williams isn't out for a long time. I hope it's just a knock. Another highlight, Cherry. Goal kick. Not very good at goal kicks. Uh, but Kokolakis has the ball. Finds Preston. Preston looking for a... Well, just looking for an option. Patient play from the Humbugs. Simon Parson. Joseph. Back to Duncan. Duncan to Joseph. Simon Parson again. It goes inside for Knott and it's cut out by Doyle. And now Portland with a chance to counter-attack. But it's going very slow. Oh, that's a great ball. Great ball over the top for Sayers. Oh, he's hit it first time. And Cherry is stretching. Fortunately, it's well past the post. We have an XG of 3.89. I guess the penalty is uh, affecting that as Dutton picks the ball up in the middle of the field. Joseph to Pavit. Pavit back to Duncan. Duncan forward for Joseph. He's going to go back, I think. Goes to Dutton. Simon Parson. Pavit. We're still looking to play those forward passes, which is really good to see from the boys. Kokolakis now picks it up and finds a knot in a bit of space. He can turn. What's he going to do with it? He looks to maybe cross it. Kokolakis might cross it. He does. Joseph there. Joseph! Oh, let's wait, Joseph. Puts it in at the back post. His 23rd goal of the season. And that is game, set and match. 3-0 on the day. Good night. Who wants one more goal? We do. Kokolakis gets to the byline, whips it in towards Joseph. Is he on a hat-trick? Has he? Has Joseph just got a hat-trick? Oh, it's a brace. Wait, who got the other goal? Oh, Williams did. That's right, Williams did. Oh, wait, two goals for Joseph, a goal for Gilbert, and a goal for Williams. What a performance. 4-0, and we are going into the semi-finals of the playoffs, I think. Again, I don't know how it's working. If you do, let me know. Um, but we are we're through to the next round, wherever that may be. And... Um, Hopefully that gives us the confidence to go on and beat the next team in front of us. Uh... Sal Williams has a hamstring strain out for anywhere up to seven weeks. Ah, oh, wonderful. Joseph got a 10 rating. Unreal. A 10 rating. What a lovely message from the board. We just had a brief update from the board and they said, with our Essex Senior League campaign now at an end, please note that any talks regarding future expectations will commence after the upcoming final. To summarise, the board are delighted with the leadership qualities you are demonstrating. The board are pleased that the team reached the promotion playoff of the Essex Senior League and we are very much looking forward to Housestead's participation in the final and wish you and your squad the best of luck. We will play Real Bedford in the County League's promotion playoff semi-final. They finished fourth in the Spartan South Midlands League. Uh, where is it? Here. Finished fourth. They finished fourth with 74 points. That was a tough division. Stansted finished on 92 points. That's a great return. Oh, that's going to be a tough game. They're well in form as well. They finished the season strong. That's going to be a difficult game. When do we play that? In three days' time. Well then. You're going to have to wait. Yes, that's right. I'm ending the episode there. We will play the semi-final in the next episode. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make you wait. Um, we've also got, remember, our FA Vars Cup Final coming up as well. That is on the 11th. I imagine... Do you know what? I don't know when the final of the playoffs will be maybe the wednesday maybe the wednesday which probably isn't ideal considering we've got a, a vars final on the saturday but hey the double is well and truly on it's a great result in the quarter final hopefully we can continue that and get a really good result in the semi-final and uh and maybe do the unthinkable in season one if you've been enjoying the series so far if you've enjoyed this episode please leave a like subscribe and let me know in the comments 
Are you backing us for the double? Oh. Up the humbugs.